Hi, and welcome to today's show. This exclusive program is brought to you by ChelseaFan12.com. And today we look back at the first home game of the season and a 3 2 victory over Arsenal. So here we are, just outside Stamford Bridge, after the first home game of the season, a home win against Arsenal. We were Ron Harris and with Gary Chin looking back on the game. Well, I thought that the uh, first 25 minutes when we went to and all that, we were doing ever so well. Uh, you know, the Arsenal got back into the game and I suppose they, they might think that they were a little bit unlucky uh, to not to put them in the middle. But as you say, I think things in general went better. Um, we, the goal made us a 3-2 which, uh, you know, it's just, it's just good. could have gone badly the other way for the Gary, they had chances of Arsenal in the first half. It could be 4-5-2 at half time. Well, I think Nicotarian missed a couple of chances uh, right in front of the goal where he, he should have at least hit the target. But overall, I, I thought, like the one said, I thought we started really, really well. For the first 20 minutes, we were closing them down. They, they were still trying to persist with passing out the back. We got on top of that, we won the ball in there, and I thought for the first 20 25 minutes they were in six and seven. But the longer the game went on, they came more into it, and scoring just before half time to make it 2 2 was a killer for us, really. You were a brick before we looked at the striker at Chelsea with four <laughs> goals in your career, so you're the man to ask. Morata needed a goal, got a goal. Is that going to help his confidence? Of course, it's going to help his confidence. So I like what we uh, get played well. Especially in that first half. I tell you what he's good at, he's good at holding the ball up for us. And he holds the ball up for us and he lets out midfield three what we're playing at the moment to get forward. And it, the back four automatically pushes up. So in there he does a fantastic job. What he's going to do though, I have to say, he's going to do it for 90 minutes. And that's where he struggled second half. We weren't closing them down at the back. They got a lot of the ball in the second half, in the first half hour. It's weird. It's following the likes of Drogba and Diego Costa, who are totally different centre forwards. Well, I think it's, uh, you know, with Drogba and Costa, you would pass them, I would pass them. There's Bassett centre forwards. This fella is more of a touch player. You know, tries to come and face the play uh, and lay the ball across to any other as well. As you say, giving central defenders, some elbows and some uh, wax around to the other things. Oh, I think he, no. he, he could bring that into his game. I, I thought his goal, I thought he took excellently. He actually nudged the Arsenal player off the ball to give him that extra yard and the strike was, was superb. I thought they were gaining confidence over, over that. He just needs to hold the ball up a little bit more for us instead of giving it uh, easy or giving away the ball up front. Did Chelsea play well when Jujunia played well? He was 20 25, he was like a fat on his hand. He orchestrated everything. I think once he settles in, I think it'd be a good point. Uh, you know, the fellow looks as though he could have a lot of good time. Uh, you know, he could play like me and Chips. Listen, don't forget, don't forget Ross Barkley as well, because I thought we were superb today. And, and, and the, the, the fitter he gets, the more he'll stay on the pitch, obviously. But I thought his overall general play, Ross Barkley, was very, very good today. He didn't give the ball away. And every time he got the ball, he was looking for them killer passes. I thought we did ever so well. We've got two top defenders with a good chance. I've got to ask you what the well, I think it's, uh, you know, like, they, they should have been fortunate at half time because uh, they've got there in the back of the full backs. Maybe that's the way uh, the manager wants to play, but uh, I don't think you win premierships when you win. Uh, score three goals and concede goals. And I, I know we never conceded any goals last week, but if you have a look at the, any team that wants a premiership, always uh, yeah, normally concedes them. And I'd be alarmed uh, if I was a manager. did look too happy when their goals are going to go in. You've been coaching for a while. Where does that stop? Does it stop the thing? 
But it stops the midfield, it stops it starts from the front really, with the strikers shutting down. But when they did get in behind us, it's he's encouraging our full backs to get forward. The likes of uh, Alonso and Dave on the right hand side. And, and, and they they do great work for us, as you see Alonso popping up for goal. But he's got no right to be in that position. So, you know, when you start off, you're a full back. You're a full back in there, you're masters. Although we did fantastic for the goal, I like him to stay in his position a lot more than what he does. Maybe football is completely different at times. Uh, being a defender, your first job was to defend and defend properly. But then, you know, the Mines are always the last full backs bombing on and bombing on. And you know, at the end of the day, the manager is supposed to be patting them on the back because they've won 3 2. But, you know, I thought, you know, for. 20 minutes when they got back into the game, we looked so convincing. Well done, Well, listen, I would say that Alonso, fantastic. You played ever so well. But in, in the first ball, he put in a great ball for Pedro. Took his goal excellently, but had no right to be there. I think when you're playing in a four, the fullbacks have got to stay a little bit more. If you're playing in a five, he carries the fullback to come. Do you know if you're playing in the back four? Like you said, he, he popped up the goal. Listen, we won the game 3 2. Thank you, Boston. New signings. Let's hope he turns out to be as good as he has had to because uh, you know, when Hassel come on, he gives you that little bit more extra. He takes people on, he gets three picks. But the other lad, you know, obviously, it's all the days. I don't think he's played on pre-season games, but uh, the more games he plays, it adapts to our style of football or English football, uh, it looks to be a good side. If you've played on the field, that's what you think will come on and see the game today. I don't know what's going to be to pronounce it. Kovacic. Yeah, Kovacic. I've, I've got that one. I've got that one in the bag. But what a two to bring on. You know, the two all. You're fighting in there. They're fighting. They, 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 they would be happy with a point. It just goes to show what he's thinking about. He's thinking about winning the game. And all of a sudden, 15 minutes from time, he brings on Kovacic and Hazard. They must have been absolutely frightened to death. Because when they dig into the ball, you can one, say one thing about it, Hazard. He is direct. Yeah. He's straight at their back four. Did you mention the name? Well, I was just going to say this. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why you're still in my phone there. Yeah. But we've just got after the weather down to the ground. No, you know. Now we've played. Yes. Now we've got. This one, Balaga. Yeah, I think Balaga is the other big keeper. What do you call him? Day two? Sid. Oh, I think Sid, yeah, I think Sid. We're calling him, we're calling him Sid, yeah, for yeah, sure. Why? Well, I just think Sid Vicious, he, he got that bit about him, you know, he's probably a punk rock early when he yeah. goes home of the week. He's 23. Yeah. He's 23, you know, so he's probably bobbing up and down. They call him Sid. But you have to say, he played uh, particularly well today as well. He looks comfortable in goal. He oozes class and assurance in the back four. And, and the two best signings going to be Kante and Hazard staying on the Well, I, I think that uh, there's all this speculation with Eden Hazard. Uh, Kante seems to be quite happy here, and I'm sure uh, I think Hazard's got another two more years. I think as long as they stay there. Uh, the supporters and the manager, that would be happy. That's what you keep them both, aren't you? Yeah, that's one thing we have to do. We have to keep them both. Like, Greenland has for the last 15 minutes, frightened the living daylights out of Arsenal. And Canty's playing in a more forward position and could have got a couple of goals today. And I like him coming late into the box. I think it was a header and he had a shot from 18 yards out. He could have knocked us today. He, he, and he seems to be enjoying his football. We can't get rid of him today. Next up, guys. Next week, Chelsea are away on Sunday at Newcastle. It's the four o'clock kick off on the sky, so a safe journey to all the 3,000 or so Chelsea fans travelling up to the North East. And we'll be back here on a Saturday, September the 1st. Chelsea home to Bournemouth to try and beat them last year. It was a great deal with Penny Housemen, so hopefully this year it'll go better. We'll see you there. Visit the ChelseaFan12.com website today 
to keep up with all of the latest Chelsea news, statistics and an array of signed memorabilia from blues legends both past and present. Sign up for free now at ChelseaFan12.com for the fans. I thought he, he done ever so well today. And when we check out, we, we just make it easy for teams to defend against us. Is that why you sent them home? Because you weren't out with them? And I'm not being funny. Have you got a bush tucker troll coming up or anything like that? <laughs>